Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Welcome to today's episode of Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday. May 20th, 2021, and as you get up and start this day, or you're getting ready to wind down this day, take some time and give God praise and thank Him for what He's done. Praise Him for what He's given to you, the gifts He's given. Praise Him and thank Him for what He's brought, which He's brought you through. And just praise Him for what you see out your window right now, because there's a beauty if you look like me and look out over the mountains. Or even if you look out your window and see the the skyline of a big city, there's beauty and all that. And God is behind all of that stuff. And then after you, after you take time to thank him for what he's done, then ask him to show you somebody that you can encourage and somebody that you can share your faith with. Because there's somebody that, that he has an appointment for. And you're going to be the one to fill it. So just ask him and then trust him. And what he says for you to say. <laughs> I just heard this funny joke. <laughs> it's a great joke. Are you living your life to please God? You won't believe how funny this is. No, I, I really shouldn't tell this kind of joke. <laughs> but it's so funny. <laughs> no, 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 I, I can't tell you. Or are you living to please others? Okay, 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 okay. Pretend it's not me telling the joke, okay? You're going to love this. Is your love for God only worth a joke? Another message from Lifeline Productions, located on the web at lifelinepro.com. All right, welcome back. I think the point of that particular Lifeline episode is about our speech. I love a good joke. I also love a true joke. I love a joke that doesn't make fun of people. So I don't think joking is the issue. But what I think is the issue is what is coming out of our mouths. And most of you know that, that I know personally, most of you know that I like to take cruises. And one of the things I enjoy doing is going to the comedy shows on the cruise. The family-friendly comedy shows on the cruise. I don't go to the R-rated ones. I don't go to the adult comedy, only the family-friendly. Because that's I don't see anything wrong with. But it's our speech that we got to watch. I remember there was a comedian years ago... By the name of Mike Warnke. Loved him. He was a great, great comedian. But then some people started questioning the truth of his stories. And and that's that's where the problem comes in. The Apostle Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse number 4. He says, Neither foolish, filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. He's telling his church at Ephesus that neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting. Those are things that we got to watch and make sure are not present in our lives anymore here in chapter 5. At this part of chapter 5, he's talking about the works of the light and darkness. Our life after Christ versus our life before Christ. So filthiness... And foolish talking and jesting characterized our old lives. So we need to get away from those things. Those aren't convenient anymore. Those aren't beneficial anymore. Instead, he says, but rather the giving of thanks. Thanking God for what he's brought us through. Thanking God for what he's done for us. Thanking God for what he's, he's, go, he's accomplishing in our lives and what he's going to do for us. That's what we need to be doing. And then over in the book of 1 Timothy... Chapter number 4 and verse number 7, Paul tells the young preacher Timothy, he said, But refuse profane and old wise fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. He says, But refuse profane and old wise fables, or in other words, lies, and, and, and things that go along with that gossip. He says, But instead, he tells him to exercise thyself rather unto godliness. So there's two things that we need to be focusing ourselves on. The giving of thanks and godliness. Is that two things that you're trying to grow in your life today? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.